Alright, so today we're going to be making some nitrocellulose by nitrating a selection of materials. I have here some, I have two brands of paper towel. I want to see if they actually burn differently. And then some cotton balls that I got from, you know, cotton ball source. Uh, here in the middle we have our nitration mixture which is 50% uh, concentrated nitric acid. So we have some here. I use this, this is my dilute stuff, but 100 mils of 68% nitric acid, as well as 100 mils of drain cleaner sulfuric acid. And I added the sulfuric to the nitric because the uh, sulfuric acts as the stronger acid in this case. So, so what I'm going to be doing is just putting the cellulose source into the nitration mixture and then after it sits for about 15 minutes I'll neutralize it in this bicarbonate solution, sodium bicarbonate solution here. I've had it stirring for a little while and it hasn't completely dissolved yet but it'll be fine. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to try a cotton ball. So it's really, you know, just a cotton ball. And just put it in. Push it down with the stir rod to make sure that it absorbs. I might actually do two at once. That's probably better. Let me zoom in on that. You guys. Oops. So, I'm going to let this nitrate for about 15 minutes, and then I'll come back when the time has passed. Now I think it's going to be safe to move the other cotton ball. I'm going to be a lot more gentle this time. See, it fumes a lot as the acids. I'm going to let it drip just to make sure. And then it should be on our way. Okay, that should be good. Yep, foaming was a lot less that time. So if you want to do this, just make sure with the cotton balls you let the acid drip. Oh, no, it is, it is foaming more again. Hopefully it doesn't overflow this time. Looks like it's going to. Yep, here it goes. You think I would learn my lesson, but oh well. I'll uh, I'll let this calm down. I'll clean up again, and then I'll come back when both of the cotton balls are done soaking. So the cotton balls are still soaking in the bicarb solution. You can see it's still bubbling quite a bit. I put it on the hot plate just to get it out of the way, but I'm going to add the paper towels to the nitration mixture now. So I have these paper towels here. They're like the normal ones you get at the store. These are probably more common. And then I also have these more I don't know, fancier paper towels. You can see the difference between them. I have a feeling this is gonna burn, I don't know, better. It's a lot denser, but we'll see. So since my beaker here isn't able to actually hold it straight up like this, I'm gonna just fold it and put it in this. 
And then I'll push that down with the stir rod, and I'll also do this one, too, at the same time. Get my stir rod. Push it in. And then I'll let that soak for 15 minutes as well. I repeat the same procedure with the cotton balls once it's done. I will put it into the uh, bicarb solution. Hopefully it doesn't foam out of control again this time. Alright, so this has been soaking for a while. It's not quite done yet, but the cotton balls appear to be neutralized. There's no more bubbling. There hasn't been for a couple minutes. One of them broke apart a little bit, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. So I'm going to take them out and then wash in the water. So. Just give it a good washing. Get all the bicarbonate out. I'm also going to take this one. This is the one that broke apart a little bit. It's kind of soggy. Out the water. I let them sit in there for about two minutes to fully rid the bicarb from the cotton balls. And then what you're going to want to do is set them out to dry, but you need to make sure they are completely dry before trying to ignite them, or it just won't work. So make sure that once you take them out of the water wash, the nitrocellulose, whether whether it's cotton or the paper towel, um, make sure they're completely dry before doing any fun experiments with them. So keep that in mind. I'll come back once the um, paper towels are done soaking. And then off camera, I'll do the other two paper towels and maybe some more cotton balls. Paper towels have been soaking for a while. I'm going to repeat the procedure done with the cotton balls. So I'm going to take my tweezers and add the paper towels into the sodium bicarbonate solution in order to neutralize all of the nitric and sulfuric acids. And just pat it down. And to beat down some of the foam, try to control. Nope, it's probably going to overflow again. Come on, come on. Common, common issue here today. So I ended up putting a towel down because I had some more foaming issues, unsurprisingly. But I thought, while well, this pretty uneventful footage of me just doing the rest of the paper towel pieces is playing in the background, I would talk about the actual reaction taking place here. So I found a diagram of the reaction that I can use for you guys. Uh, I, I'll link the source to that in the description. Uh, so here in this first step, the nitric acid reacts with the sulfuric acid to form this intermediate here and the water can be removed from that, leaving you with the water itself and the nitronium ion, or NO2+. Plus. Um, and that NO2 plus will react with the, the hydroxyl group on the cellulose. That oxygen will attack the positive nitrogen, and that will leave you with a, a nitrate group with an extra proton from the hydroxyl originally. And the HSO4 anion can uh, then attack that that hydrogen there and reform the sulfuric acid so the sulfuric acid is regenerated in this reaction now the uh, the result of this is your final product at least in this case it's mononitrocellulose but you can also have the di and tri variants if either two or three of the hydroxyl groups are converted to nitrate groups So after cleaning everything up and doing a couple more runs, I um, got this final product here, 
the camera would focus. It's um, it's pretty nice. Some of the paper towels broke up, but these two up here are quite nice. And you can see I laid out these other paper towels, so you can see the color difference, how the nitrated form actually turns a little bit yellow. So this is a normal cotton ball compared to the, the two nitrated ones, as well as the uh, paper towels. You can see the faint yellow color, and that's um, usually a characteristic of nitrated stuff. And I've got a fan over here blowing out some nice air to speed up the drying process of the uh, nitrocellulose. And uh, once it's done drying, we can uh, blow it up. Okay, so it's been two days after I made the nitrocellulose. I let it out, uh, sit out to dry. I actually put a fan on it for a little bit to make sure all the moisture was gone. And I'm out here on my back porch and we're ready to do some tests. Uh, keep in mind, it's good to have a safety plan. So I've got here my fire blanket, just in case anything goes wrong, as well as a fire extinguisher. And uh, let's get started. So I'm gonna just light off this smaller piece as a test run. So here we go. That didn't work. But you can see, it leaves behind a lot of carbon. So it doesn't actually burn ashless, so mine isn't actually the best quality, but it, it does burn a lot different from normal paper towel. And I'll get an example of a normal paper towel burning, just in case you don't know. So, as you can see, it burns a lot slower. It shrivels up just blows away. It's just gone at this point. Now we can move on to our larger scale test. I will do one of the cotton balls. I'll do the cotton ball that fell apart a little bit. That one's a lot more intense. Once again, leaving behind pretty much pure carbon, I assume very fluffy, very um, not dense at all actually. It's kind of like a, like a powdered sugar, but it's carbon of course. Now move on to the larger paper towels. So this is the brand uh, that I said earlier was a little bit more fancy. So we'll see how this compares to the other paper towel. interesting how the black kind of envelops the white like a uh, almost like drops of liquid as the fire spreads and again it's carbon it's very thin it falls apart in my fingers I can't even pick it up really we'll try the other paper towel This one actually burned a lot better, a lot less ash, surprisingly. I'm not sure it has to do with the actual brand of paper towel, rather more of the length I left it in the nitration solution. So we've got sort of a grand finale set up here. I just got all the little small pieces and the last cotton ball. And we'll see how this burns. Obviously, don't breathe in the smoke. There are better, better examples of nitrocellulose. Mine, honestly, is not the best quality, but if you follow the same procedures I did, and maybe were a little bit more patient and left your uh, 
cellulose in the nitration mixture for longer, you might have better results than me. But for now, that's all I have for you, and I will see you in the next video.